Wonderful greetings to all of you, my dearly beloved brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. I trust all of you are well and good. Well, we are gathered again for another weekly episode of the Master's Table. So before we begin, let me introduce to you our studio participants. You will see many new faces compared to how you have seen previously. So let's meet them. Hello, how are you? Fine, Uncle. And why don't you introduce yourself? My name is Arul Lanka. Arul, and what are you doing? I'm working in a private company. Okay. And yourself? I'm Satya Pa. I'm working in a private company. Okay. I'm Beryl Christie, and I'm also working in a private company. So, and yourself? Ah, we have seen you, no? Yes, Uncle. Uh, but in case our, our viewers have forgotten you. Yes. Introduce yourself. My name is Helen. I'm working in Chennai. So we have Arul, Satya, Beryl and Helen. Wonderful. So, how has the new year been for all of you? Let's start with Helen. Yes, Uncle. It uh, was good and uh, the last two years we were uh, facing so many struggles because of this pandemic. But mm. this new year we have some hope. This new year will be better. And I Does it look like that? No, Uncle. When you look at it now, it doesn't look like yes. that. Yes. But, but we have some end. hope is right? God is with us. Mm. He will lead us. He will guide us throughout mm. this year. What about you, Beryl? Just like how the word of the Lord says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord, even before we started this year, he, that joy was with us. Mm. So it was exciting. Even though a new strain was born in December, Omicron yes. and spreading like a wildfire. Yes. Yet, yet what? Yet the joy. Yes. So that is our strength. Yes. Right? Yes, Uncle. So what about you, Satya? Yes, sir. How was the new year? Like uh, last year, we have struggled a lot, but still the strength of the God was there. Mm. So this year also, it was continuing with us mm. to move on. The strength of the Lord. Yes. How did the Lord strengthen you? Since uh, uh, I was standing without knowing everything, like from the work and from from the houses uh, works and everything else, but I don't know to proceed how it is. But mm. the strength of the Lord has filled me and gave some knowledges and wisdom and everything, and it is continuing in this year also. Wonderful. What about you, Arul? Uncle, for me, in the third wave when the lockdown was there, uh, God trained me, and He taught me how to die to self. Mm. Uh, which I could find a major difference when I entered this year. So I could feel how much I have changed the previous year or before lockdown and now. So how did the Lord teach you about dying to self? Uh, in each and every aspect, Ankara. Uh, dying to self is directly related to character transformation. Mm. So the step by step, the character which we transform ourselves from a worldly character to a godly character mm. and how God wants an individual person to be and uh, that makes me to die to self. So how did that brought about character transformation? Uh, so what changes do you see in yourself? Uh, speaking to everyone normally, mm. respecting everyone and uh, not thinking of what I am and what talent which God has given to me. So we should not think anything when we speak to others. He just wanted me to show love to everyone. So previously you were not like that? Uh, not exactly uncle, I was okay. Uh, not too much in speaking. I was silent, numb. But now God asked me or uh, trained me to speak to everyone, mm. to ask about everything. So you are very comfortable to talk to people now? Yes uncle. Then before? Yes uncle. Right? Yes. Before you were like a, the tortoise in a shell. Yes uncle. It hates will only come out 
for a season then suddenly go back inside yes, so you were like that yes sir i was like that you know i was an introvert mm. so i think you are like me introvert so i would never talk to people freely no so one day i my friend who was a very good friend mm -hmm. we studied together in the bible college mm -hmm. so he became a pastor i was a dropout mm -hmm. <laughs> so he invited me to speak in his church so in his church they have um uh, eat together mm -hmm. after the service so they call it a potluck mm -hmm. please come and have that snacks and um so after the service everybody gathered in the fellowship hall for a meal so each family will bring something mm -hmm. and everybody will share together mm -hmm. so i after the pastor had said the grace so i went and took some portion for myself i went and stood in one corner <coughs> because i was new i don't know anybody you know mm -hmm. and being an introvert i enjoy being alone mm -hmm. i'm sure you were like this <laughs> right i doesn't bother me whether people talk to me or they don't talk to me it doesn't bother me i enjoy being alone are you like that yes oh my i'm very introverted really yes uncle. wow so you have come to the right place to be changed <laughs> yes i <laughs> so you are like that huh very much okay but these two girls are not like that oh yes <coughs> they are very friendly right yes okay mm -hmm. i enjoyed the food and enjoy being alone standing one corner so my friend is a pastor so pastor have to talk to everybody no yes. so after talking to everybody he noticed that i was standing alone mm. he came to me mm. he asked me what are you doing here i said i'm eating the food he said i know i can see that but why are you standing here i said what else do you want me to do he said no you should mingle around and talk to people so i said no his name is vijay no mm -hmm. i said no vijay i feel i'm very comfortable like this then he said a statement that changed me oh i began to change he said previously you were not a minister then you can be like this alone but now you are a minister of god you must be people friendly mm -hmm. so people will approach you for prayer mm -hmm. or for any counsel but if you are away aloof from people then how will they approach you they will not interact yes they won't they won't feel comfortable mm -hmm. to share their burdens with you so that made me think and i began to come out of my shell so that happened in the year 19 uh, 85 okay so now how many years have passed by almost 38 years or 37 years i have improved much but i won't say i have succeeded because i still enjoy being alone but i have improved much make myself approachable to people so we all go through changes like that so why are you an introvert i would feel what if i disappointed someone with my words your mother is a very friendly person <laughs> your brother is a very friendly person your father seems a little quiet no i think you are like after your father no maybe hmm you are afraid you will disappoint people yes hmm and what if they judge me based on my thoughts feelings have you ever experienced any incident like that that has uh, hurt you that made you go back into a shell No I have never mm. but I have seen people so I would stay in my cocoon So you'll rather prevent yourself from getting hurt than venture out In fact I was a class leader throughout my Look school days <laughs> So how did you manage to become a class leader and be an introvert at the same time Because uh, our teachers wanted a quiet person Oh <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't talk nonsense Aha uh -huh. so i i was very strict in my position mm -hmm. so they trusted me with my work good 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 so you have experienced a change in the new year right now at the end of every year 
almost all people will make resolutions yes, yes. right yes. they look back at the old year they said oh i missed this i missed that and then they'll make a resolution for the new year right yes say, in the coming new year i'm going to be like this yes i'm going to be like that isn't it it's yes. common everybody will do that right have you done anything like that uh, yes. have you made resolutions like that yes uncle uh, two resolutions mm. one resolution is just uh, just like a common resolution that i, I need to closer to god mm. and another resolution i felt like to save some money mm. so that i can help someone when they come to me they if they have need oh i thought you wanted to save money to build a house <laughs> or to take care of your two sons but you gave me an answer that i never expected not only i not, did not expect i don't think any of you expected yes. this answer right yes uncle and i don't think even our viewers are watching this would have expected this answer that's a very very noble noble of you to think like that but at the same time you are very wise because you knew that when you help others god will bless you yes. because the scripture says no mm. when you give to the poor you are lending to god and when you lend to god how can god be adapted to you sure he will bless you abundantly so you are very wise you knew the loopholes in the system so that's the resolution you made yes sir what about you satya uh, i have decided to do something uh, which i have left last year without doing that mm. the first thing i did as a family prayer we should do no mm. uh, in the in the middle of the time i have left it i re- mm. i just forgot it i have not uh, followed the correct timing mm. so from january one i have started it again and again family prayer yes okay and the second thing is because i need to do, i need to gather everyone mm. so if i left means then uh, it will not happen so right. i need to start a step so mm. i have started it again mm. the second thing is and i have an aim to um to create some leaders in who are uh, raised up in orphanages oh so uh, i have uh, started a new step to create them mm. so i have started some wow things. wonderful wonderful and bro i have always loved worshiping god mm. but last year that little bit stopped mm. that gradually i slowed down my time so i said lord this year i will commit all of my time to worship you mm. honor you and praise you so so that worship is private worship or public worship private time private time after office hours i struggled how to maintain my time mm. so i started doing that after office hours or before office hours after after so as soon as you get back home yes you set aside some time yes on a daily basis yes uncle so so far in the new year how much have you succeeded i have started like half an hour every day okay so only good praise start and worship. yes uncle very good thank you is that the only one resolution yes mm. helen last year i was not giving i mean i'm giving much importance to myself mm. like that is called self mm. so this year i have thought i must i have i must die for self mm. i have to give much importance to god and not to myself mm. not to my fleshy thoughts have to listen to god's voice mm. have to obey for what god says to me mm. so this is the thing so i have made your resolution. yes uncle for the past several years i have been making one resolution that i will develop a six pack <laughs> <laughs> you know so so each year born i will think this year i have to go some do some rigorous exercises and flatten my tummy and uh i'm not eating too much you know what i have is stubborn fat okay mm-hmm. that doesn't refuses to go in the normal diet mm mm-hmm. so it needs to be dealt with since it's stubborn fat it must be dealt stubbornly mm mm-hmm. so each year comes i make the resolution okay this year I have to get rid of that uh round Mm-hmm. Pot mm-hmm. belly. Pot. <laughs> If not six pack, at least flat. Reduced. Okay. Single pack. But years pass by. Mm-hmm. Nothing has happened, right? 
So even this year, I decided no. This year, mm. I have to do something. <laughs> do something, no. But so far, in the first week of this year, I have not touched anything. <laughs> so, but we have to do something, isn't it? Yes. So everybody uh, make resolutions. Mm. The old, they first they regret the old year. Mm. Oh, I wasted one year, right? Then when the new year begins on the thirty first of December. They'll make a fresh, fresh resolution mm. because now you have one entire year ahead mm. of you, right? Yes. It gives you plenty of time to make amends mm. for what you have lost previously. So today I was meditating the Word of God, and I came across a passage in the Bible where God tells the children of Israel to make resolutions. Mm. So turn with me to Ezekiel chapter forty-five. How God will lead the children of Israel to make resolutions. So what happens now is Israel was in Babylon mm. for seventy years of captivity mm -hmm. for all their disobedience, for all their waywardness, for all their backslidings. Mm. So God had to punish them. Mm -hmm. Secondly, they did not obey God's commandments. That is, keeping the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So the Jews were told to keep the Sabbath. So I'm sure you all know the Sabbath, right? Yes. So when is the Sabbath? Saturday. Well, Saturday. Saturday. Okay. When is the Sabbath? Seventh day. Seventh day. Any S different answer? No, uncle. Same. Saturday or Saturday. Saturday. So seventh day of the week, which is Saturday. Saturday. Is there any argument against that? No, no, no argument. Nobody can argue that, right? Seventh day of the week is the Sabbath, which happens to be Saturday. Mm. So that day they are not allowed to work, but rest, and they should go to the temple, synagogue to worship God, to read the scriptures mm -hmm. and all that. So did they obey? No, no. Like today. They were all so busy doing so many other things mm -hmm. than seeking God. Today people do the same thing, no? Yes. Instead of going to church, they are working. Mm -hmm. They claim that I have to work to feed my family. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, the more poverty increases in your family mm -hmm. yes. because you are not honoring God. Yes. Right. Yes. So that which you try to gain. By dishonoring God, what you save, what you get, you are putting into a basket full of holes. holes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. In Haga, it says that no, you save money, but you are putting into bag full of holes. Yes. Why? You have forgotten God. God. You have forgotten God. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, God also told them every seventh year. See, they all are farmers, mm -hmm. right? So every seventh year, they are to give rest to the land. Mm -hmm. No farming to be done. Mm -hmm. Now, if they don't do any farming, how are they going to eat? Problem, right? Yes. So God told them, in the sixth year, I will bless you three times. Mm -hmm. Why three times? One is for the Sabbath year. Mm -hmm. Okay. One is for that same, same. year mm -hmm. a blessing. Sabbath year, they don't work right. Mm -hmm. That's a blessing. Mm -hmm. And in the third year, when they sow, it takes time for mm -hmm. hours to come. Yes. yes. So they need food for that year. So three okay. blessings. Mm -hmm. God told them, "I will give you." Three and so far in their history, it has been like that. Mm -hmm. So on the sixth year, they'll get three times more harvests. All right. Mm. So okay, now I have a question for you all. How is it that on the sixth year they are getting three times harvest? Because uh, after in that sixth year they need to work, mm. and uh, for the coming year they need to prepare them. Mm. They need to uh, take rest and to worship God, to seek mm. God. So they must prepare their thing, like uh, how the Lord has. Uh, um, like how the Lord has led the Israelite mm. peoples in the wilderness, He gave that manna, no? Like with His okay. story. Helen? For each blessing behind God only is doing something for, mm. for each of us. 
So he is blessing them with three portions. Okay, so it's blessing. Yes. Okay, Arul? That is the covenant which God make with the people. Mm. If if he says something, he will do it. Okay. If we follow it. Covenant. Yes. Do you have a different answer than the three of them? To honor them, honor their obedience which they have done for the five years. Mm. In the sixth year, God is blessing them. So that's the key. Obedience. obedience. Mm. Because they were willing to obey God. So for that act, God blesses them. Three times, mm. right? So, every seventh year, they have to obey God, right? But the Israelites fail. They fail to obey God and they never observe the Sabbath of the land. Mm. All right? Mm -hmm. So, God decided to punish them. For 70 years, they failed. Mm -hmm. So, the Lord said, now you shall be punished, mm -hmm. will go into captivity for 70 years. So, they were in Babylon for 70 years as slaves. That was their punishment. Right? Now, this is something God told them through the prophet Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. If you disobey me, mm -hmm. you will be scattered. You remember that, Beryl? Yes. Hmm. Do you remember yes, that? Yes, uncle. To be scattered. So, even before the prophet Moses died, mm -hmm. he gathered all the children of Israel and he reminded them mm -hmm. of all that God spoke to them. Then he told them, see now he was like a grandfather figure, no? Mm -hmm. He was 120 years old. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a new generation was born in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. So, the oldest person was Caleb and Joshua, mm. who are what, 80 years old. Mm. Except for the two, the rest were all not more than 40 years. Mm. So, his grandfather mm. yes. to everybody, no? Mm -hmm. So, he was sitting on a big rock. He was speaking to everybody. Fatherly, grandfatherly manner. Do you have a grandfather? Yes, I have. Does your grandfather talk to you like that? Yes. What about you? Oh, no I grandfather. Don't have okay, okay, I'll be your grandfather. Yes, okay. All right. <laughs> you have a grandfather? No. No, I, I'm there for you. What about you? No. Okay, yeah, I am. So you don't need me, no? Of course we need you, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> so, he spoke to them. He reminded them of all that God spoke to them. And what God taught them, the covenants, the commandments, the statutes and the laws and the judgments. Mm. Then he said something. He just looked at them for a long time, no? He said, but I know, after I am gone, you will turn your back against the living God. You will do that. You will play the harlot. Mm. You will prostitute yourself. It's not physical prostitution, spiritual, spiritual. prostitution. You will do that. And then comes the Deuteronomy 28. The mm. blessings and the curses. Yes. And God will scatter you. So they had this warning, no? Mm -hmm. Yet, that's what they did. So God scattered them. Mm -hmm. So then what happened? What happened will continue next week. So all of you have to come back. Yes. Will you come back? Yes, yes Uncle Shiva. My dearly beloved brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, what do you think? What happened there? What caused the change? So please ponder that and write to me the comments that you see on your uh, screen, the email ID, and we'll meet again next week. God bless you all.